Welcome to Tobarstraff.com. In this video, we will show you instructions on how to send mass email automatically with our software Melikin. And now, bot can send mass email with Gmail accounts, web interface, as well as SMTV server. After downloading and installing the software, you will launch in with provide the username and password and then you will receive the interface here. The server basic system you need to set up before an email function and the first one is send method. There are two options for you to choose. The first one is Gmail web. The server will launch in Gmail account and then send email from this Gmail. And the second one is the SMTV server. With this function you can send email with any kind of mail like a gmail hotmail yahoo etc and remember to activate the smtv server for these accounts and enter the smtv part and server into the server i will instruct you later in this video you can select one of these two options Next is account session. You click on the icon data and you will see the database manager dialog box here. You will import data into this dialog box and there are two ways for you to do it. The first one is you will do manually. Then you will click on this icon, select add group, type group name here. For example, I will type tutorial then click OK, click on this group, and then click on this icon. So that add item. You will enter the Gmail password and recovery mail here. Password and recovery mail. With proceed part, proceed user and proceed pass here, you will enter these parameters if you select form data at proceed stop session. And in this video, I will enter two. Next, with at MTV server and SMTV part. When you select Gmail web as send method, no need for you to enter here. And the email here must be Gmail. And when you select SMTV server, you can enter any kind of mail here. And you need to enter SMTV server import. You can search it on Google. For example, I use Gmail here. So I will search Gmail SMTV server on Google and this is the SMTV server and this is the port 587. I will enter these into this section. And similarly you can enter SMTV server and port for the other kinds of email. Then click OK. Similarly, you can enter other emails or Gmail accounts here. Another way for you to import data is create a text file, name it at accounts to save email accounts. And you enter the corresponding parameters here. The first one is email. Comma password. Comma recovery mail. Comma brassy, comma part. If you select from data at brassy short session, and you can leave browse user and browse pause blank if you don't have them. Next, 
with SMTP server and SMT port, you can leave them blank if you select web, Gmail web as send method. Otherwise, you will enter SMTP server and SMTP port if you select SMTP server as send method session. Similarly, you can enter all the emails information polite and then click to save. Then at convert, you select import CS3, click on this icon, select account text file created, and then click OK here. You will see the information was imported. Then you click on the icon, rename this group for easier management. For example, I renamed tutorial 2, then click OK. Then you close this dialog box at account session, click on this icon and select the group of accounts that you want to run. For example, I will select tutorial, next is process rights. There are three options for you to choose. The first one is from data and you will import the proxy and part into database manager dialog box like this. The second one is from file. F5 proxy session. There are two options for you. The first one is nice from URL. Then you will paste links of address of your proxy here. The second one is nice from file. You will create a text file to save proxy. For example, these are our browsing. Then click to save. F5 browsing session, click on this icon, select the text file browsing created. Otherwise, you can select no browsing as browsing starts. The software will run with the IP of your computer. Next is use agents section. When you purchase the software, we will provide you with the user agent files. Just download and then click on this icon. Select the user agent file that provided. Next is run. Run is the number of times that you want the software to run. If you set it at the default like this, the software will run continuously until you stop it manually and you can put other number here, for example, 1000. Next is tracks. This is the number of tabs that will be open and run at the same time. And when you put three here, three tabs will be open and three email will be sent at the same time. You need to enter the number which comply with your computer configuration. Next is cookies router and data router sections. You will create a new folder and then name it at cookies. Then you will get the path here, copy and paste it into the session cookie folder. Do the similarly with later folder. copy the path or pizza folder here and then paste it into the pizza folder section. Next is slip section. This is the range of time that you want the software to take break among run turns. The unit is milliseconds, so if you want the software to take break 3 to 5 seconds, add uh, 3000 to 5000 here. Next is receiver email section. You will create a text file to save the email as receivers here. Then you will enter the receivers per lines here. These are emails that I want to send to. Then click to save. At receiver email session, click on this icon, select the receiver text file created. 
must a subject section you create a text file to save titles of email that you want to send Remember that if you send email with the same title to many receivers, your email can be marked as spam. So you should use Bing text here. For example, this is the screen text that I have typed. So click to save. Similarly, you can enter other screen text here. At subject section, click on this icon, select the subject text file created. Next is content section. There are two options for you to choose in this section. The first one is random string and the second one is lines from file. With live from file, you will create a text file to save content of email that you want to send. You should use main text here too. Then click to save. A content session. Click on this icon. Select a content text file created. Other way is random string. You can click on this icon and then enter any content that you want to send here. And you can click on edge text to text text. If your content have more than one line, you should enter this into a text file like this then you will copy all this content paste it into that box and click edge text you can see the content per line here Then close this one. This demonstrated above our basic setting. So now we will back to uh, the first one, send method, Gmail web. At send method session, you will select Gmail web. And you can see in later, in tutorial group that I have selected, there is one account only here. And if you want to run one account with many tabs and send to many receiver you click on setting show advanced at account section here you will set the master set usage like this many number of nine here and the software will launching one account many times with mass fair usage if you set it 10 the software will not launching one account anymore if it failed 10 times Next, if you set one as mass number of simultaneous use like this, the software will run one thread with one account launching. After finishing, it will take a break of five seconds here and then launch in that account again. If you want the software run three threads with one account launching only, you will set three here and set zero of interval between usage like this. Similarly, you will set the other session. For example, at receiver email, if you set three like this, the software will send three emails to one receiver email address. Now back to click OK to run. You can click on show browser to see how the software launching Gmail account and send email to the other email address.
Now we will run with the second burn send method. SMTB server, you select SMTB server as send method session. And remember to enter SMTB server and SMTB port. Then click OK. The software will not launch in your account. It send email via SMTB server. So you can launch in the receiver email to see whether it received email or not. You can see email was sent to this email direct with the title and content that we had imported. These demonstrated above are instructions on how to send mass emails automatically with our software Malakin in web interface and SMTB servers. You can visit autobarsurf.com to see my useful software. Thank you very much for the time. See you in the next video.